G'day, this is Len from LPR Toolmakers. I'm just going to go over how to use the thread gauge and how to identify a bolt. All right, so what we've got here, we're not too sure exactly what it is until we measure it. So we measure it and it'll come up as half inch. So we know it's a half inch, so this is imperial. So we use the imperial thread gauge and we'll run over the top of it and until we put all these thread gauges are in TPI, that's threads per inch. So every one of those little dimples there represents broken up that's 13 that's 13 of those over one inch all right so we'll get that there and we'll put this on this bolt and you can see that just fits in there really nicely you can see that there so we know what that is it's 13 tpi and it's a half inch od go to your chart have a look down on your chart and one of your charts will either be unc or bsw in this case here it'll be UNC, which is American Fed, Unified National Course. So that's the way how you identify your imperial bolts and sizes. It's always important to measure the OD first, so you get a rough idea which thread gauge you're going to use, and then you put the thread gauge on until it drops into the pitch. And once it drops into there, you'll get an idea what it is, and you can go back to your charts. You can go to Google anywhere these days, and you can find that information pretty easily. When it comes to metric, it's a little bit different with metric. What they have on metric, they have what they call pitches. Instead of over the inch, they have the angle. It's the same 60 degree angle, but it's broken up as be between one ridge to the next. This one here says it's two mil, right? So this will vary depending on what it is. You'll get really super fine ones that'll go right down to point two right up to point six all right so what we're going to do is we've got a, a little socket head screw here that's metric i know it's metric all right but you don't know what it is so what you do is you you'll go and put your vernier on and go and measure it so i'll put this on metric at the moment i'm going to just double check that and it's a little bit undersized this bolt but i def definitely know it's six mil right that's a problem about bolts these days they can be all over the place um not that accurate but i know that's six mil so we're going to use the metric gauge and we're going to find out what pitch that is so when i find out what pitch that is i've got a roughly good idea with it i think it's about 1.25 we'll have a look we'll put that on there and guess what i'm wrong so it's actually smaller than that so it must be one pitch so we'll go to the one pitch one, if I can find it. It's probably over the next lot of leafs, which will be over here. And there it is at the top there. So put that on there. Right, okay. So to see how that just drops in there perfectly, then I know that that is six mil by one. Right, that's actually a standard metric size, all right? So you can go to your chart and double check it, but that tells you if you need to buy a tap, or if you want to get some more bolts, that you know that's going to be a 6mm by 1mm pitch bolt, right? Or you need a tap. So there's your thread gauges. There's, there's other forms. There's Acme. There's left hand and all that type of stuff. But don't worry about that. You just learn the basics of those things, and that's what they will help you with. So you've you got your metric, and you've got your imperial pitch gauges. All right, we'll go to another gauge in a minute.